why do I do that? I don't know how to start my videos at all. <clears throat> uh, what was I saying? Where is it? All oh, right, yes. Um, today's tutorial is um, making little resin pendants with clouds in them. So they look like little tiny skies hanging from your necklace. This isn't one of them. Don't, don't look at this. This is something else. Entirely. Um, I saw them on Pinterest and I needed to know how to do it. So I worked out a way to do it. It's probably not the best way. I don't know. It's up to you. Give it a go. This whole tutorial would be way easier if I had that resin that sets under the UV light. But I don't. So this took me many days. So please enjoy. Okay, these are some of the things you're gonna need. I have some resin. Mine's gone off. Don't judge me. Um, I've got some different size cups for mixing the resin. Um, I've got these little lids from somewhere, I can't remember. Um, they're for mixing colors into the resin. I've got some shot glasses for the small amount of color we're gonna be using. Um, I've got some paddle pop sticks. You also, I've also got little tiny spoons that I like to mix the color with, I've got to show you. And I have a miniature blowtorch. Could use a heat gun, but like, why would you? If you could use a blowtorch, right? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Um, we've also got uh, some white blue tack. Not blue, white, because we want cute, happy little white clouds. Um, I've also got a silicate mixing tool. If you don't have one, just use something pointy or whatever. It's just easier to pick up stuff and get the resin off it. I've got my cutting mat so I can lay down the blue tack onto that. Um, I've also got some bindings to make them independent. And I've got some fine grit sandpaper and I got my molds. I got these from Wish. They weren't very expensive. They're um, sphere molds. And I got some glitter. Moons specifically. I had to buy a big bag to get the moons out of it. But yes, moons. Um, inks. These are acrylic inks. Don't make me say the name. This one's blue, okay? Blue. Um, and we're also gonna need purple as well. I think there was a pink in there somewhere too? I'll bring it up later. Cloud making time. So get your white, blue tech. Get, you know, a little bit. So I want you to mush it around, but not too much. If you make it, like, too warm, um, it doesn't do the cloud thing when you squish it out. So remember when you were a kid and you're in like little primary school and you play with blue tack? That's, that's what we're doing. We're just gonna like flatten it, stretch it out so it's like nice and thin. You can see the like sort of cloud like texture happening already. And you lay it down flat. Leave it for a little second and it'll sort of pull together. And then you just pick up the little bits of cloud. And there you have it. You made a cloud. So I keep these itty bitty clouds in another recycled container. Um, because they're gonna get smushed, so you need to keep them somewhere safe. So you just do this like a bunch of times, just every time you use up all your cloud bits, you just do it again and spread it out and get new clouds. Um, and that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. And then you have a whole bunch of clouds ready to roll, ready to be the cloud master. You're the cloud master now. I cover these bad boys up so I don't get more cat hair in them than there already is. So right, we need to mix some resin. Wear your gloves. Gloves are very important for this. You're gonna have resin all over your hands. Um, my blowtorch, I use it at this stage while it's in the recycled cup, because I don't care if I melt this by accident. But the molds from Wish generally melt, so don't do it in there. Get rid of your bubbles at this point. Um, you sort of have to live with the bubbles otherwise. So this first layer is going to be just a clear layer with some clouds in, so a press simple, get your clouds, cause you're the cloud master, um, and then just add a teeny, 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 teeny bit of resin into your molds, and then we just shove little tiny, tiny clouds in, just a few, not too many. Okay, so your little tiny clouds are set in a layer of clear, so I told you there was another color, this is magenta. Um, and we've got the little mixing dish thingy and your little little tiny shot glass because we're only using a little tiny bit. Sorry, I'm not very good at keeping this in shot. I'm trying, trying. So you need like, 
Oh yeah, if you're gonna shake these, shake it good. They settle to the bottom. So, um, we need like the smallest amounts of these colors, which is why I'm using the little dish and not dripping them straight into the resin. So you can see I've put like it on the back of the spoon and then I've mixed it in with the resin. So like we're talking like microscopic amounts here. So this is for the magenta and same deal, little teeny tiny bit. I've used the same spoon, it's no biggie. But uh, you see it's just like a tint, that's all we need for this stage, just really light. Um, and I'm also going to use the purple and I'm using it in here because Waste well, not one or not. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So just make sure you mix them up real good and get the bubbles out with your filter. So just spooning in little tiny amounts of the very pale blue and then putting in a new layer of little tiny clouds. Just like that. And then so I'm gonna put in the smallest I could get my hands on because it's cute and for this one I'm adding the magenta and some more clouds and then I'm gonna follow it up with a moon I got one of the bigger ones and I shoved it in some clouds hoping that that would like look good we'll see and I'm gonna pop that up with the purple that I made so I'm doing this one, that this sort of style, I'm doing this one to this big one, the biggest mold I have, and to the freestanding mold that I've got. So our purple ones are done, and the blue ones, we're doing exactly the same process as we did before, except the blue's a little tiny darker, we've added clouds and some more stars, and a little tiny moons. And one of them I made a little tiny bit more purple, just a little tiny bit of purple was added to the top. Now for the reveal! This is like the best part. I love being able to pop them out. So this one was the same as the big one. It was blues and purples. And you can see the little moon in there just sparkling away. So I quite like how this one turned out. It was nice. It was fun. So this one here is just blues. Oh, it's got a little tiny gold star in it. This one was the one that I added a little tiny bit of purple to the blue just at the very end. So it's a slightly different color than the other blue one. I like it. I think this one's my favorite. Makes me very happy. Now the big one. I feel like the, the purple that went in that day was like really bubbly for some reason and the blowtorch just let me down. So this one's a little foggier than I would have liked it to be. Now hold the tiny skies in your hand because you created them and you are their god. <laughs> or not, you know, whatever. Um, yes, yeah, so um, we're just gonna, if you've got any that have got a little bit of excess, resin poking out the top just get your sandpaper of the fine grit and just like sandpaper that down make it nice and smooth now i'm gonna stick little caps over the the top points of my little spheres so you won't see if it gets roughed up um you might need to buff them with some sort of rotary tool if you want to have them just as spheres if you do this because this will definitely scratch your surface up so this big one, um, because I actually topped up the little dome bit that the resin mold sort of makes a little divot where these ones I'm going to put little caps on too, which I have already selected for each one. Um, so I'm going to just screw straight into this one with a little tiny eyelet. So what you got to do, I'm just interested in using more things you need. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm organized. So this is a stabby tool. It's for stabbing things. So this one, because when I put the moon in it, the moon actually like self-leveled and tilted sideways. So you can only see it from the side. So I decided to make a new top for this one. 
like mistake number a thousand for this particular piece. But whatever, moving along. So I just like stabbing a hole in top of it. Um, quite skilled, like just, I'm just good at this. So just be careful if you're using a stabby tool, don't stab yourself like I nearly did. These little tiny eyelets I bought from Wish, I believe, probably, because I have no money, so everything comes from Wish at the moment. Don't judge me. Um, they're really, really tricky to hold on to by your hand, so I'm like off shot. I'm a bad, bad this, apparently. Here we go, here we go. Um, and so I'm just gonna screw it in by hand, because the resin's quite soft, so you can do that after a little bit of fiddling. It does take quite a bit of fiddling. Um, but you can just screw this in by hand, but yeah, you definitely have to hold it with the pliers. Otherwise, no dice. No eyelid. So there it is, all done. It's a bit special, this one, on several levels. It's foggy and the moon sideways, and it's not on the top. And you will, yeah, those are the extra tools you're gonna need, but, eh, it's still good. It's still good. So this one, I'm using a little tiny bit extra resin. And I'm just putting it very carefully at the tops of each one. And there you have it. So they're affixed now and ready to rock and roll and be stabbed with the stabby tool. And we're going to put the eyelid in and it's going to be real, real nice. So in hindsight, um, we really didn't need the moons. The moons were a little bit of a flop because they settled sideways so I would recommend putting them in a round mold but I think they would look really good in any other shape mold so that's that um but overall I'm pretty happy with them they're cute so did you have fun I had fun, and I'm wearing the bullet woods. You're probably, it's not a good idea, but like, look, do they not inspire magic and happiness in your, in your heart? Makes me happy. So, um, if you do make these, um, I would love to know, um, because <laughs> I'm like, I don't know. Why would we like to know? We would. We would like to know. This is Boo Boo, by the way. And it's not just my chair. Obviously, it's his chair, and I'm just borrowing it. But, yeah, if, if you make these, um, please tag me on Instagram or however you do it. I actually don't know how to do it. Probably should work out how that's done. But if you know how to do it, do the thing. Where you tag or hashtag or whatever. Um, I'm under Rebecca's art and I would love to see if anybody else had a go doing it this way. Or, you know, you know, you tried it and it sucked and you want to yell at me. You can do that too. I don't mind. Whatever. Alright, thank you for watching. Bye!